YouTube uh, today we're going to uh, talk about uh, the structures this one here and a little bit about uh, uh, this section here too uh, we've looked at the plates and that and uh, just one more thing I missed about this uh, the connections here there is uh, this one uh, miscellaneous uh, in miscellaneous you find the stairs properties hand railing uh, you know roof uh, uh, like changing structures in the roof and uh, pretty much what the name says miscellaneous so if you can't find uh, anything on uh, on these other tabs here of what you're looking for make sure to give uh, miscellaneous a check here because uh, and I think the stairs should have had their own uh, 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 directory here but they kind of put them under miscellaneous which is uh, it was hard for me to find but eventually I got to them uh, yeah and just wanted to point that out so now quick views I mean structures this is the bread and this is what separates the men from the boys this is it if you learn this then you are gold it's basically to help you move through the drawing really quickly now uh, uh, we'll start with the first so I'll go that one uh, create new model uh, actually before we do anything uh, we want to create a, a a box at a joint for a quick view okay so we're gonna pick uh, that joint and it's very important to set your UCS this is why I went through UCS in my previous session you have to set your UCS when you're using uh, advanced deal like 80% of the time so if you do something and it doesn't turn out the way you want it to turn out it's probably the UCS that is not set so here we're gonna set up ours on that okay oh crap sorry let's do that again we're gonna set up remember that command uh, place UCS on object okay we're gonna go that and you see there's these lines that show up these this one that one that one that one there's more that says so just pick one of these so pick that one right click and there's our UCS okay so we have the Y direction X and Z coming out which is perfect so <coughs> we're gonna go create new uh, join at joint box and this joint box is what we're interested in right so and there's others here you can explore so we're gonna go that one and uh, this is our joint box that little gray box remember we talked about this and uh, you click it and you give uh, the name of uh, so read down here give the name of the view we're gonna call it joint one because we're very creative and press enter and then it's going to ask which direction you want to view from so we can choose any of these four five six, i don't know how many one two three four five six big green arrows you can't miss them and the most uh, reasonable view would be this one so you click that one select the direction uh, right click and there we have it now what did we do we created a view at that joint so to access that you go here in the structures menu of course then joint you click that boom see what you have left just that little piece you want to see this comes in hand when you're building big structures uh, when they're complicated and you need to isolate certain parts what do you do this is what you do ladies and gentlemen 
and uh, you can still manipulate this you can go advanced properties and it works very well because uh, if you have a big assembly you can't see the bolts on the other side so yeah so we can change all that stuff and whatnot we can have fun with it so that is the first one that's uh that's create mode of view and to turn it off you just click that button and it turns off and it doesn't affect the drawing in any way but it gives you complete power of seeing what you want to see and that's what the best people do right they make it easy to work okay so now we've looked at that one and uh, there's more here I only use that one but uh, maybe we can try to check out this one at grid line please select grid line so we'll select this one okay so give a name say grid line one Oh, you see we forgot to set our UCS but anyway uh, we've got a chance to look at it here so at grid line one we want to look from the top it only makes sense okay now let's go to grid line one okay see it works just as well and the thing if you can break up your drawing it will make life so much easy I don't know why it's doing that like sometimes my AutoCAD sticks that way when I go rotate object it doesn't work okay, but it's done now so you see at that grid line we have a plan view and this is all we wanted to see now if that's not power that's absolute power okay so moving on uh, I won't go through the rest of these you guys can try them out uh, you mainly use the joints because that's where it matters most for me anyway so now we're gonna move on to the next one create level above now if we've got a big structure and we've got stuff all along here right up to the roof and we just wanna see say from there down we don't care what's above it and the answer is right here so level and you just pick your height so I'll say so I'll say at 20 at 20 I don't want to see anything above you click OK and boom see there you have it so everything that was above is still there but I don't want to see it and I don't get to see it and this way you can actually see your anchor boot layout before you even uh, you like your plan view before you even uh, start doing your documentation see if it's right and it looks pretty fantastic to me and that is the level one pretty straightforward turn it off again the light everything is back and uh, you can change you can add new ones with different levels whatnot and uh, it's great basically uh, let's see here should we add a new one add above okay we're gonna add above oh okay so we've just added an above and uh, we see only now the top half we don't want to see the bottom half okay so that's leveling for you now <coughs> the next one here is query this is now ladies and gentlemen this is it this is the ultimate query okay I gotta pull up my sleeves for this one now uh, so I've got my structure very complicated we're gonna pretend and uh, I know all my columns are W1033 if you watch the first video or second one or something like that so let's query that okay so we just want to see our columns oh, okay so still be used. actually we want to see everything else okay actually you know what 
we see our 1033 so there 1033 that's what we want to see and then we're going to save that and we're just going to call it uh, w1033 and it's very important to name it correctly so it's easy to see in the menu again okay so w1033 say okay and okay now we have that our w1033 query so if we hit that light see now we only see the w1033s in the entire structure now i i can't express how important valuable this tool is you'd have to do something really big for you to appreciate how great this query is now it's not limited to beams so when you hit that query buttons you can query in many different ways countless ways so objects what well, you go through this and you know pick whatever you want you can query bolts you know uh, number by the number type of bolts or whatever you like there's so many different possibilities this to me is the ultimate tool uh, and uh, I usually just uh, query by beams because usually when I want to see uh, beams I want to see the same stuff right so that one is easy enough and that's the one I use most of the time and that alone is very powerful imagine if you could use all these well you can and there it is now we've, this is our structure tab and we went through the leveling joints and the queries and you can make multiple of these you don't have to just make one you can make a lot of them and make them as you go so at the end of it it's life is easier so much easier now in this AutoCAD they've put the same command in many different places so like this stuff here you can also access uh, here so say create mode of view remember this one then joint whatnot yeah and uh, yeah go through some of these and uh, uh, you come to appreciate this when we come to make our documentation and uh, printing and whatnot we're building up to that because I think that's the biggest part of this uh, AutoCAD anyway uh, thanks for listening uh, today we're just doing some talking covering uh, this structure section so now you have everything in your arsenal to go and make uh, really simple well not even simple like really complex drawings like the information i've given over the past few videos you can make really really complex structures and uh, it doesn't stop there like you know we'll, we'll keep going but my biggest uh, mm, concern is the printing stuff that's yeah you really have to pay attention there Anyway, sorry for another long video, I got to go.